as your body is a piece of spaghetti. What's going on everyone, it's KPF here and today I just want to make a quick video to talk about the benefits of stretching as well as a quick little stretching routine that you can do at home. So there's multiple different types of stretching. There is active, passive, dynamic, static, PNF, and ballistic styles of stretching. But for this video, we're just gonna focus on dynamic and static stretching because that's most likely what you're gonna be doing for your at-home routines or at-gym routines. Fuck, okay, so when I started working out, I didn't really stretch too often. And honestly, that was a big loss to me. So I wanted to make this video just to say or to show you or tell you why you should be stretching. Yeah, so for this video, I just wanted to mostly show you the benefits of stretching and how it could help in a lot of different ways rather than just your flexibility. As we already know, stretching, it's gonna help your flexibility and range of motion, as well as your posture. Also things like reducing the lactic acid in your muscles. So, so the chance of you feeling sore the next day is a lot less than if you weren't to stretch after your workouts. It'll also obviously help prevent injuries when you are working out. And if you were to do the appropriate stretches for a certain exercise, it could also help your performance in that exercise. Maybe you could lift a little bit heavier or go a little bit faster, whatever it may be. So that being said, there are a lot of benefits that I didn't mention as well, but I'm sure if you add this in after a couple weeks or a month, you might start seeing those benefits for yourself. And then maybe you can let me know what they were for you. There's multiple ways you can incorporate some stretches into your workouts, like if you were to warm up, I would recommend doing some dynamic stretches and then going into your conditioning phase <clears throat> and then cooling down with some more stretches at the end of your workout. That's one way of doing it, but you could also do, which is what I like to do, which is a quick warm up in the beginning of my workout and then just some dynamic movements or stretches in between sets of whatever exercise I'm doing. And when I do this, I do see changes in between sets. The more warm I am and the more loose my muscles are, the better I'm able to perform. So that is one way you could also incorporate some stretches into your workouts. So we've got a couple tips for you to follow while you are stretching. So the first one is not to bounce. There's no real benefit added when you are bouncing. If anything, you might increase the risk of injury also not to overdo it you shouldn't go past your point of comfort you don't want to be stressing your muscles too much while you are stretching and finally and and probably the most important one is to always warm up the muscles before you stretch it if you stretch a cold muscle you might injure yourself so you can think of it as your body is a piece of spaghetti if you try to stretch and bend uh, uncooked raw spaghetti, it's just gonna break. But if you were to boil it and warm it up and try to bend it, it's gonna move in all directions in any way you want. With that in mind, you should always warm up your muscles before you stretch. So we'll get into the quick stretching routine I have for you now. If you were to put them together for about 45 seconds each stretch, it would come out to be about a five minute routine. So you could either make it into a routine just to add it into your own whole workout routines or using the exercises and implementing them in your own way. So the first one is gonna be a toes touch. So for this exercise, you wanna keep your legs about a bit wider than your shoulder width and bending down hinging at the hip, keeping your back straight and just reaching for your toes. If you wanna focus on one leg at a time, you could reach using your opposite hand. So basically, if, if you wanna stretch your left leg, use your right hand and reach down to that leg and vice versa for the other leg. So the next one is a laying ham stretch. So you're gonna wanna lie down on your back and bring one knee towards your chest 
keeping the other one straight. So for this, you just want to be hugging your knee and bringing it as close as you can to your chest without overdoing it or overstretching the muscle. And the next one is going to be a laying quad stretch. So similar to the laying ham stretch we just did, it, you're going to be laying down on the floor with, with one leg extended and the other one bent inwards towards your butt. And now the next one is one of my personal favorite stretches, it's the butterfly. So for this you want to sit down with the soles of your feet touching each other and you want to bring it in towards you as close as you can and just push down on your knees using your elbows. And this is going to really open up your hips. Now that we have our hips a little bit more opened up, we're going to go into a halfway split or a full way split if you want. But for a halfway split, we're just going to keep our legs bent and push our hips down towards the ground. This is another stretch that helps open up those hips a little bit more. And it could really help improve that range of motion in your gait. So the next two are gonna be upper body stretches. The first one of which is a overhead reach with a side to side motion. And the stretch is mostly gonna focus on your lats and maybe your obliques. And the last one is gonna be a behind the back reach. This is gonna open up your chest and stretch your bicep muscles as well. So you wanna remember to switch side for the single sided stretches holding for about 20 to 25 seconds per side and about 45 seconds per stretch. And by doing this, it could become a five minute full body static stretching routine that you could add on to your workouts. So if you guys want me to go a little bit more in depth about the benefits of stretches or just want more stretches or if you want muscle group specific stretches, Comment down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. This thing shall then take the form of a